Believe it or not, we still have more brackets to get to in tonight's Sports Report special, the district draw. We stay in Division 4 and focus on the Van Wert district, like Elida and Kansas. This feeds into the Bowling Green Regional. Starting the Bryan sectional, Ayersville and Continental will tip off on Tuesday the 3rd at 7 p.m. The winner faces Edgerton the next Friday. Hicksville and Eden and Fayette against Holgate rounding out that draw. Wayne Trace, the top seed in the district, will play in the sectional just up 127 at Paulding. The Raiders have the bye. They will play the winner of Hilltop and North Central. The other pairing in that sectional has Antwerp against Pettisville and Stryker taking on Patrick Henry. Matt has more on this bracket. Andy joined by Wayne Trace head coach Jim Linder. Jim, thank you for Joining us, number one seed, you got to feel good about that. I mean, 17-1 and one on the season, 6-0 and oh in conference, you guys definitely earned it. How do you feel about your position going forward? Well, we like where we're at, and we, we extremely like going down to Paulding and playing in that uh, section. It's not very far for us. We're very comfortable there. I think we're playing very well. We're adapting to some different people, getting some good bench play. Um, so uh, our, our kids, you know, we stay healthy. We, uh, we think we like where we're at. So. Now, speaking of health, right now David Sin is injured with a broken ankle, one of your centers and he's missed some time. You've played without him. Will he be ready for the tournament? Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're getting back on the short end of that, and hopefully the district final area right in there will be about four weeks. But, he's, you know, he's averaging about 11 points and seven boards for us, so he's a big part of what we do. But we've got some great uh, kids step up for him. The Spies kids stepped up. Um, Jake Aaron stepped up and filled in some roles. So, um, yeah, we're getting some great bench play. That lone loss on the season was a three-point loss to Napoleon. Are you almost – relieved or happy that it happened so there's a little bit less pressure going into the tournament it is I get that question a lot and I've talked to Jeremy best about that you know do you wish you'd have maybe lost one going in and it it it, it helped us a bunch I mean it, it made us put in perspective what we needed to do and found out some things that we weren't good at and and uh and, and put us where we need to be so yeah sometimes a loss is good to get off your get off your plate right away you guys love to get up and down the floor, and you're in a unique situation in that you're coaching two of your sons, Corbin and Ethan Linder. Ethan's a sophomore, Corbin's a senior. What's it going to be like for you? This is this is it. I mean, you want to go out on top with them, right? This is their last year playing together. Well, it's, it would be nice, you know, but uh, it's not going to be easy, and there's a lot of teams in our way. There's a lot of good quality teams that we'd have to get through, even in our sectional district. So, um, yeah, I mean, Corbin's dream has always been that he wants to walk off the floor, you know, in Columbus. So, uh, but uh, <clears throat> it's, it's been interesting. I mean, they've made it a little easier for me. Um, everybody always asks me that question. But, uh, it, uh, you know, this, this team surrounds themselves by good players, and, and each one of them is playing a role. So it's, it's kind of nice. Coming up, you've still got matches, matchups with Antwerp, Ada, Crestview, and Ottoville. And that Crestview game will, will be uh, made up from a rain, or snow out yesterday. How are you going to use those games to prepare? Well, you're, you know, your Ottoville is always a tough end of the year season game for us and they play some do some things you don't see in tournament with a matchup two three zone um, Crestview is always nice to have down there because it's always a, it's almost a cross county rival for us so you know we're just trying to prepare and make sure we, we share up shore up a little things that aren't working for us right now um, and you always want to get better at defense every coach wants to get better defensively so that's where we're going to be well, you'll have that opportunity over the next couple of weeks and then we'll be watching as you get into sectional play thank you so much for joining us Jim thank you